Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. My name is Melissa. Thank you so much for stopping by. So today we are doing a very exciting video. At least it's exciting for me. It's one of my most exciting videos to film and to watch. And that is a little battle of the bags. So I am doing two bags that are from the same brand and are in the same size that I think that maybe people might be torn between. And I am going to do a little comparison, but today I'm doing it a little bit different. I am doing it a little bit more structured. So I'm going to go over the bag individually, and then I am going to do a little comparison between the two. So if that is something that you guys wanna see, then please just keep on watching. out today are my YSL college bag right there and my YSL small Lulu right there so I am just gonna go over the YSL college bag first I have mine in the beautiful opium red color with the brush gold hardware it has a top handle a magnetic closure here it does have leather on the inside I do currently have mine stuffed and then it has on the inside a black fabric lining does have a zip department here and another department in the back with a one small card slot section in the very, very back. It has a removable chain strap, a back pocket, and no feet right here. Um, it does have a top handle. I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet, but I really, really love the top handle. Um, height is 6.6 .6 inches. I believe the length was 9.6 four inches and then 2.5 on the side. I might be a little tiny bit off on that. I'm going off of memory. So hopefully my memory is serving me well and hopefully those are the correct measurements for you okay, guys. Okay, so next up is the YSL Small Lulu bag. This is in the white calfskin leather. That one is in calfskin leather as well. I forgot to mention that. It has a strap that you can double up or wear single strap. It is not removable. It does not have a back pocket or feet on the bottom. It does have a magnetic closure, just like the other one. And just like the other one, you see there's leather on the inside, two pockets here, black on the inside, zip pocket, and then a back pocket here. So the inside is set up exactly the same, except for you have the chain on the inside of this one where you don't have the chain on the inside of that one. This one is, Again, 6.6 .6 in height, so they are the same height. This one is 9.8 in length, so it is the same length. And I believe that they are both the same in width. On the website, it said it was 11.8 in width, which obviously this is not 11.8 inches in width. So I'm not sure what the width is, but it looks like they're about the same. Okay, so first up is price. Which one of these bags is going to win in price? The and I'm going based off of current price, not based off of what I paid. If I was going based off of what I paid, I did buy my small Lulu from the pre, um, not pre-loved market. I bought it pre-loved from somebody. And so that would be my cheaper one. But we're going off of if you were to buy them brand new. So the college bag is $2,490 and the small Lulu is $2,000. $290. So at $200 cheaper, the small Lulu wins this one. Okay, so next up is what fits. I'm going to show you a little clip here in a second so that you guys can see what fits. I am currently using my small Lulu, so I will take all of my essentials that are in there out of that bag and put it into the college bag. Okay, so as you can see here, I have all of my daily essentials and I'm just going to pop them out of this bag and pop it into that bag. So here is a good look at what fits and how it fits in there. So here it is completely empty and I'm going to put everything that was in that bag into the medium college bag. So I have my zippy coin purse wallet. I'm going to put that right in the back there. Let's flip it up the other way. Then I have my key pouch right here. We're going to put that in right here. I have my pack of gum here. My sunglasses. Two chapsticks. Because one's never enough. A sample, a small perfume, and a face mask. 
So those are all the items that were in the other bag and you can see it's just a little bit tighter in this bag than the other but not by much at all. Almost the same amount of room in there as the other, as the small Lulu. Okay, so as you guys saw, the small Lulu wins this by a smidge. They both fit comfortably, but there's a little bit extra room in my small Lulu than my YSL medium college bag. So my small Lulu is going to win this category. Next up is style. Which one is my favorite style? So this is a very, very personal question. And for me and my style, I do usually dress a little bit edgy. This one is going to go to my medium college bag. I love the chunky chain. I love the top handle. I love the back pocket. I love the color. I love the look of it. I love absolutely everything about it. And if that was in white with, with silver hardware, it would be the top bag out there in the whole world to me because I love that bag and the way it looks so much. But I love the white with the silver hardware. Okay, so next up is versatility and my what I'm going off of is, can this be an evening bag and a daytime bag? So my opinion on which one is more versatile is this bag back here, the small Lulu. And that is because I feel like it is a little bit fancier at nighttime and you can wear it a little bit more dressy. Now I did teeter totter between these two because the college bag, you can take the strap off and carry a top handle, which is very, very elegant and feminine and, and classy in my opinion but at the end of the day I feel like this one here is a little bit more versatile than this one here. Okay so next up is durability. Which one is more durable? Now this isn't totally fair of a question for me because I just got that one and I've had this one for about a year but but my small Lulu was a repurchase off of somebody else and they purchased that bag and back in 2018 and there's hardly any wear and tear on it. It's just more kind of relaxed and the squishy and puffiness of it is a little bit less, but there is wear and tear on my medium college bag in the back pocket. I've shared this in other videos. It is wearing off from the leathers wearing off from me putting my phone in that back pocket. So because of that, the winner of this category is my small Lulu. Next up is which bag is more comfortable? I am surprised to say that the winner of this one is my small Lulu. Can you guys believe it? So if you guys have been keeping track, small Lulu is definitely winning at this point. Um, I love the way that it fits me cross body. I will do mod shots right here. The small Lulu cross body is very, very comfortable. The YSL medium college bag is just a little bit too short for me. So it kind of sticks out off of my hip that I don't really prefer it that way. So my small Lulu is more comfortable and it has a, sh a short shoulder option, which I love. So that's actually my most comfortable way to carry a bag. I like the look of a crossbody, but as far as comfortable goes, I like a shoulder bag and my small Lulu wins on that one. Next up is durability and of, I feel like I kind of already covered this. Which one is more durable? I feel like my small Lulu is more durable. It goes back into the wear and tear. That one is six years old. I haven't owned it for six years, but somebody else owned it for six years. This one is only one year old and it has more wear and tear on it than this one. So I'm going to say that durability is going to go to my small Lulu, which surprises me because when you hold the bag and you feel it, this one's got the smooth, smooth, soft leather that you think is going to scratch and scrape up. And this one's got the more grainy, rough leather that you feel like is going to be more durable, but it definitely isn't. This one has been more scratched up than this one. Okay, so I thought that this was a fun question. If I were to run out, or if I didn't have either one of these bags, I whatever, they got lost or stolen or whatever it may be, which one of these bags would I run out and repurchase? And I think that you guys are going to be su surprised by this because the small Lulu is clearly winning. But which bag would I repurchase again is my college bag. That is one of my favorite bags. I love that bag. It's 100% my style. It is stunning. It is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love the chunky chain. I love the top handle. I love the back pocket. The only thing I don't love about that bag is it... I wish it was just a little bit bigger for my frame. 
um it's just a little bit too small mind you when i bought this bag i was 20 pounds less than i am now and it fit my frame a little bit better then but now that i've gained a, a little bit of weight it's a little bit too small for my frame i feel it's still cute i still love it i still wear it all the time but it is a little bit smaller than i like okay so if i added this up right my small lulu has six points five or six i'm a little thrown off i can't let me know down in the comments was it five or six points that the small lulu got and my college bag only got two points which is crazy because out of the two bags which one would i recommend to you guys i'm going to tell you if your style is anything like mine a little bit comfortable a little bit edgy a little bit grungy you like the band tees the tight jeans the boots the black the grays the um just a little little bit on the edgy style i'm not super super edgy but i do love an edgy outfit that's how i feel most confident and i actually feel sexier in a gray band tee with black jeans a pair of high heels that bag grungy makeup that makes me feel sexier than a skin tight bodycon dress it just does so if your style is anywhere similar to mine i would recommend this one if your style is not similar to mine and it's more similar to what i'm wearing today a little bit girly then i definitely would go with this one here because this one is like it's got all the pros all the sorry about my tattoo guys my arm's a little bit swollen as you guys can see when i go like this you can see it all puffy right here i just got a new tattoo it's peeling and, and doing all the gross things if you guys have tattoos you know what i'm talking about um, and it's not done. So this whole center part's going to be done too. But all the swelling kind of went into that area and then into my wrist. So you're probably seeing that a little bit. So just ignore those, that nasty looking tattoo. Um, but um, if you are a little bit girly and you like more of the feminine, you have more of a feminine style, then I definitely would go with the small Lulu. I feel like more people would be happier with a small Lulu. But again, if your style is anything like mine, a little bit edgy, then go with this one here because you will really, really love it. All right, guys, you will have to let me know down in the comments which one of these bags is your favorite. If you were to go pick up one right now, which one would you pick up? And if you own one of these bags, let me know down in the comments as well. Also, if you are on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram because I would love to see you style these bags. Tag me in the... In your photos, Melissa Adams Dash Wade is no. What's my Instagram name? It will be linked down below. I can't remember what it is right now. But hashtag it Melissa Adams Dash Wade so that I can see your guys' photos. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. But until next time, bye guys.